All right. Today we find ourselves on Babylon, spawning in the bottom right hand side. The Red Terran player with the, the mass battlecruiser strats, it is Nicaract. And on the other side of the map, it is Mixu. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. Pretty standard. I'm actually a little surprised. I thought somebody probably would have busted out something really aggressive on the ace match. But these two players have decided to uh, give each other the space required for a macro game. Then again, it is still fairly early into the match. We could still... There is a chance to still see some shenanigans, people. I'm holding out for hope. I'm holding out for hope. Pool goes down. A decent uh, overlord positioning here for our, our Zerg player. Yeah, but so far it's a fairly standard, uh, looks like it's going to be a fairly standard game here. We have a couple links coming out here. Reaper's going to be moving across the map. Right, going straight for the natural. <clears throat> Not going to see too, anything too out of the ordinary. Oh, actually gets a Zergling. You don't see that every day. Nice pullback micro there from Mixu. Yeah, Tumor first out of the second queen, so this is definitely going to be a macro game. Ooh, that's... A... Alright, we're going 3cc. 3cc before starport. It's going to be a super macro game. I'm here for it. Not every ace match has to be about being ultra hyper aggressive. Sometimes it's nice to have uh, one of those like long ace matches where each each player gets to show off their strengths there in the late game. They're basically going to be finishing up for Mixu here in just a second. It's really not. It's really nothing much to report here. I mean, both players are just doing their, doing their macro cycles. Banshee's going to be on the way now. Uh, Cloak hasn't started. Oh, we do see the uh, Roach Horn being put down. So maybe, maybe Mixu's thinking about a sixty-six Roach push. Or a uh, 66 drone roach push. Uh, Nikorek's going to be continuing to poke around here, see if they can find an opening to maybe dive in. They've dived in like two games in a row so far, so I imagine he's looking for that. Would you look at that? Actually, a really nice response there by uh, Mixu. Not, well, he saw the roach warn, but. He really caught those. He caught those. Uh, he caught those aliens. Just absolutely body blocked and shamed them. Stim's gonna be on the way now. Uh, Nikorak is actually continuing to build aliens here. Uh, do we have an armory? Uh, that would have put our numbers at 
Eight Hellions. Alright, once again, we have the Hellions coming across here. Ooh, nice Evo block there by Mixu. Nikorak's gonna continue to try and get something done here. Ooh, nice cluster of drones. Can we make it happen? Four drones do go down, but every single Hellion is gonna be cleaned up here. Roaches are now on the way, as well as a layer. So it looks like Mixu only wanted to get like maybe a handful of roaches for right now. And we're going up 11 drones. This has to be, this has to be the, the it's, this has to be the, the big roach hammer push, right? This has to be. All right, looks like once again, Mixu is a little, oh, nope, I take it back. <laughs> the queens were just in waiting. I don't, th I think he's got a couple of kills. I think some of, most of those are tumors though. Their base has now been placed down for Nico Rekt. Getting a little bit of a wall off, making sure that a random group of Zerglings can't really bust in and make his life a living hell. A couple of more drones do go down. Like th these little nitpicks. It's just uh, cleaning up a drone here, a drone there. Poking around, trying to see what kind of tech he can see. Now, Mixu has gone up to 83 drones and is now producing a ton of roaches as well as plus one, plus one. Um. Yeah, this is good. Oh, actually cancels the fifth. Nice. So if Nikorak's going to be... Oh, well, he's probably not going to want to push out too much. Not until at least plus one or plus two plus two is done. A decent number of tanks and a lot of bio that can uh, actually deal with this number of roaches. As a Terran, you don't really want to be... Uh, of pushing out too much. Like, I think it's like small hit squads trying to uh, kind of keep the Zerg at home or fine. But you don't want to be pushing too much. Alright. Getting on to creep with the push. First push. Makes you kind of staying out of scan range. Now this is kind of a small number of roaches though. I don't think this is actually enough to defend in this position. Actually, a really nice siege tank location there as well. There's only one Ravager in here. Oh, three Ravagers now, so that should be enough to take out the tank in one shot. There we go. All right. It just took some time for the other Roaches to show up. No big deal. No big deal. Lots of Roaches in the production queue as well as a couple of Ravagers. Uh, Roach speed is finishing up. Plus one, plus one is finishing up as well. And now we are at 186 supply versus 132, so we're going to see Mixu just constantly putting on the pressure here, trying to just crack Nico Rack at this point. Fourth base is finishing up for Nico Rack. However, he is going to make, try and make this into a planetary. Maybe he can actually successfully do it before Mixu rotates and takes it out. All right, this handful of roaches is going to be poking in. Nicorette hasn't really responded yet. It's going to be losing a couple of workers there. I think he's focusing on the rocks here for right now. It's a big split off here. Nice position from Nicorak. I think he should be... No, this is a lot of roaches. I don't think he's actually going to be able to defend this well enough. No bunkers or anything to really defend here. All right, now he's got enough units to actually be able to push this back. That being said, though, we have more roaches coming into the production queue. And it looks like uh, Mixer's going to be backing up here just a little bit going to be regrouping all the roaches and ravagers. Ooh, infestors are going to be on the way as well. I'm actually surprised this planetary finished. Um, 27 workers did go down. Oh, 27. Good lord. I'm 27, but he's at 65, so it's not too big of a deal, I feel like. Plus two, plus two is on the way now for uh, Nikorakt. Oh, I don't know about this. He kind of pushed a little bit too hard. Oh, maybe. Oh, a little bit of a mistake there by Mixu. Kind of walking into the Marines. This is actually enough to push us back. I'm shocked to tell you tell you the truth. I thought for sure, like, you needed to wait until plus two, plus two. But I think Nikorek realized that he actually already did enough damage to Mixu's Roach Army. 
couple more workers are going to be going down as uh, Mixu does a little bit of a run by. And he's just going to push. He's going to shove his way through this. There's not enough. Oh. Oh. Oh, actually loses the Infestor. I don't think I had enough energy for a Fungal Growth yet. All right. Now Mixu is on the defensive. He's going to have to try to hold on here. But I think there's just too much bio. Too many tanks here. Takes out the Roach Warren. That's really, really big. Plus two, plus two does finish up. I think Mixu might be dead here, unfortunately. This bio is just going to chew apart anything that Mixu can throw at him at this point. Mixu is down to 57 workers. That's insane. Roach Warren is going back up now, but Nicorette immediately hops on top of it. Now, there are... Uh, ooh, oh, 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 the f oh, no fungal. Okay. <laughs> I guess if Nicorette decides to dive back in... Another attack here at the fourth base. All of a sudden, Nico Rekt is the one that is just absolutely everywhere. Wow, really well done by the Terran player in this circumstance. He does have the hit squad up at the top of the map. So if he really wanted to, he could dive back in again. Oh, fungal growth! Ooh, nice juicy one there, but it's probably not going to be nearly enough. GG's going to be called. Nico Rekt takes the ace match. Wow. That was that was actually really impressive from the Terran player. Normally, at least from what I've been coached, is that if if a Zerg